ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69. Welcome back to the channel. Now, in today's video, we're going to have a glance at the T54 Mod 1. Uh, once upon a time, one of the best tanks in Tier 8. It, honestly, this was one of the best tanks in Tier 8. A tank that everybody wanted uh, because it was just so freaking strong and the battle we're going to see uh, actually the battle is quite good and I'm not going to lie but let's have a look at the tank let's have a look at the stats and we'll talk about why it's just not as good anymore so those of you that have been around a long time you'd all know uh, a tank that goes by the name of uh, let's just clear the this the type 59 now the type 59 was one of the most sort of tanks like everybody wanted one everybody wanted a type 59 uh, but it never used to come it never ever used to come for sale but over time uh, instead of bringing the type 59 they bring out the t54 mod one it very very similar very very similar the penetration wasn't great however the armor profile was fantastic um and then over time, like, it's just become sort of weak. Everybody knows how to deal with it. And, yeah, it's just become sort of uh, a bad tank, you know. It used to be a good tank, and now it's it really isn't a great tank. Um, you know, but you can still perform in it. But one thing I've always said, and I will continue to say, especially with this camouflage, what a beautiful tank. Honestly, it is such a lovely looking tank. Sexy. Just look how sexy the tank is. One of the sexiest tanks in the game, for sure. Like, stand out up there in the top three, definitely. Along with the Chieftain Mark I um, and the Kampf Panzer, uh, the KPS, uh, KPZ in Tier 9. Uh, th th this is a beautiful tank. So, stat-wise, yeah, as I've said, the stats have never been really great on the tank. Uh, it was never about the gun it was never about the penetration it was really all about the armor um so you've got 180 millimeters on that turret armor and you've got 120 on your on your hull however if you wiggled if you go hold down you know if you face hug side hug it was a, an extremely strong tank to deal with and not many people uh, could actually deal with this tank it was very very tough um dpm 2100 so not fantastic dpm uh eight second on the reload penetration is 175 and 235 on that APCR, uh, just 50 on the HE. So you've got a 280 alpha gun on that AP, 240 on your APCR and 350 on the HE. Aim time was poor at 4.3 and so was the gun dispersion at 0 0.335. And it only had five degrees of gun depression. So it did struggle uh, when it comes to uh, trying to get your gun down, uh, getting on a ridge, it really did struggle. Uh, top speed, it's 44 kilometers per hour so we, as i've said we do have a game that somebody uh, sent me uh, special for life and it is against tier nines now this tank in against tier nines was never sort of uh, never amazing it was never amazing against tier nines but when you come up against those tier eights when you come up against those tier sevens it really was a tank that uh, you struggled to deal with like um everybody wanted one and because everybody sort of wanted the type 59 uh, and nobody could get the type 59 this was kind of the next best thing and then people People were split then like people had the both and it was actually i prefer a t54 mod one but of course there was other people out there that preferred the type 59 so it's kind of split you know some people like this some people like the type 59 i preferred this tank because it just for me it just had the overall armor profile it didn't just have a, a strong turret it had the the hull as well um i preferred this tank and of course the type 59 was a tank that i really really wanted and it was a tank that i never actually got from the shop it was um my good friend my good old friend if those of you, of you that remember him uh skate extreme very good personal friend of mine uh not just in the game but out of out of the game as well you know i've got his phone number we, we we chat quite often not so much now uh, but he was doing a charity live stream massive massive charity live stream and he had a few of these to give away and the way that you, uh, not these sorry the type 59s and the way that you could get that is he uh, was given a certain amount away for the highest donators 
and because I really, not just because I really wanted one of these tanks, but I, of course, I donated a, a nice amount of money for his chosen charity, and of course, helping charity, if I can, if I can afford it, then yeah, it's something that I do, you know, I've done a lot of charity, uh, charity events, I've done charity live streams, not only that, but you know, I've done things for charity, like jumping out of an airplane twice, you know, I've done that for charity, and I earned a lot of money for the, my chosen charity. So doing stuff for charity is something I've always liked doing. So when he done this, you know, it's, it just made gave me the incentive to donate more. And of course I got the tank. So I did get the tank and I was happy to donate and I was happy to receive the tank. Uh, but then of course, this come around uh, and I didn't even want to play the Type 59 no more, you know? I paid all that money for a Type 59 and I don't even want to play it because I've got now the T54 Mod 1. Um, but yeah, overall, Nowadays, it really, in my opinion, it does suck, you know? You can't get as many bounces. People know how to deal with it. And overall, I just think it's power creep, you know? Wargaming released stronger tanks. There's not many tanks that Wargaming have released when it comes to mediums uh, in tier 8 that are sort of uh, stronger than this, especially when it comes to armor profile, medium tank-wise. Uh, but there's just, you know, there's so many other tanks that can deal with uh, a T-54 Mod 1, and the armor profile really just isn't the same as it used to be, because people just know how to deal with it, you know? This hasn't got the penetration. Look at that. I mean, you can't penetrate this guy unless you are switching to the premium round. Uh, but overall, it was it was a fantastic tank back in the day it really was and when wargaming first released it i was so excited because it looked fantastic you know i loved the t54 so sort of getting a t54 in tier 8 that's a premium version that's like a type 59 i was so excited uh, to be able to get this tank uh, but now yeah it's a tank that i never ever played it isn't one of those tanks where if i feel like playing tier 8 and i want to go with mediums this isn't in my my choices you know i wouldn't sit there and think you know what? i'm just gonna go and play this no i'd only play this tank if i absolutely had to play this tank like if i'm making a video or if it's for a challenge or you know some, someone's requested it in a live stream but then again i don't live stream anymore um because of work commitments uh so yeah you know that's the only time i would ever play this tank so let me know your thoughts like is it the tank that you sort of really like it's been a it's been around for a very long time now uh, is it a tank that you like or is it a tank that you did like that you just sort of nowadays yeah this tank uh this tank pretty it sucks it, it sucks pretty much um but yeah let me know in the comments below but for now we're going to watch the rest of the replay our guy has managed to do 3.6k damage uh and again 3.6k damage in a mod one at the, in this day and age is actually a really really good job but you know there's still a little bit of work to do there's still a couple of tanks and one of them being the t95 who is in the middle of the river uh, and yeah it's not a great place for a t95 to be uh, and of course if he does turn we are able to penetrate him with ap and that is the thing that i really sort of don't like now either like ap hardly pens anything like you'll, you'll be lucky if you are uh, if you're able to pen anything i mean heavies like this yeah good luck penning that even the lower plate you struggle you will struggle to penetrate uh but he's done the right thing here he's dragged that object up the hill and then he's run away and again that's something that has been that is decent about the tank not special uh the mobility of the thing you know it's not like a crazy crazy fast tank it's never been a crazy crazy fast tank but neither is like the t54 or the type 59 they've never been like a super fast tank they're a medium they're like a heavy medium you know, decent armor, uh, decent turret armor, decent hull armor. Um, so if this went like 60, uh, 60 kilometers per hour, then I think it would be too strong. But I definitely think Wargaming should sort of revisit these some of these kind of tanks. You know, look at them and think, how do we get people to play it again? Because no doubt, like these were very popular tanks, the same as the Type 59. Like they were very, very popular tanks, but you don't really see them anymore. People don't want to play them because they just are not strong enough. 
So let me know your thoughts. Like, what do you think about the Mod 1? And what do you think about the Type 59? Like, do you still think that they're strong tanks? Or do you think, like me, that they're both kind of poor in this day and age? Uh, but one tank left alive. Um, they're doing a really good job. Him and the AMX 5120. Uh, if they work together, of course, they will be able to uh, take care of this object. No problem whatsoever. But our Mod 1 has to be very, very careful. Because, of course, he is a one-shot. And you can see the object 252U. You know, he's trying to ignore the amx he's trying to go for the mod one because why wouldn't you like he is the one shot take care of him and then you don't know anything that could uh, that could happen so uh, they're going to work together now just 25 seconds left uh, on the clock he actually risked crossing here like i don't know why he dropped down right there and he gets away with that literally just uh, and at this point 15 seconds left alive uh, or 15 seconds left on the clock 10 seconds and it is now game over so well played but you know just over 5000 damage 5000 damage in this tank in this day and age is a really really good job so i hope you enjoyed today's video guys i'm midzy 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye